record, record. It's recording. Okay, so Ashley um, was very new to Plexus when she earned Leaders Retreat last year. How new were you? Um, I started um, the end of April, and then um, I remember, oh gosh, I think I started sharing like late May. So you didn't even start sharing until end of May, but then you ended up earning your first Leaders Retreat to go to Orlando. Tell us your mm -hmm. experience and your top tip that helped you earn it. Okay, so first of all, um, I never in a million years thought I would be able to earn that just because I was brand new and I wasn't even going to share this business. So um, when I was put into an accountability group for Leaders Retreat and started using those tips in there, I was just blown away that I was like, oh my gosh, this is totally attainable. Um, to to be there like when i earned it it really really made me believe that i could really do this plexus business like i could have this legit side gig and and have this extra income coming in and the the possibilities were just endless i was it made me believe in myself um my top tips for it oh gosh do your do your your daily ipa i mean every day even if it's only 15 minutes you know reach out um, to everybody you can think of. I mean, there's people that I never would have thought would, I, I thought they'd be my, my first snows and they were like, Oh yeah, let's try this. And I mean, I have a couple of them that are just celebrating their one year anniversaries, you know, this, this month, um, and are still using the products and loving it. So, um, don't think you can't achieve it because you can break it down and, and figure out what you need every month for points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good advice. The IPA for sure, the income income producing activity for those of you who don't know what IPA is, mm -hmm. but we'll talk about that later a little bit too. But um, I'm, I really appreciate you sharing with us, Ashley. And yeah, I mean, you can do this. You can achieve this. Um, we're going to move on. We're going to have Tara share. Um, Tara Thank, you, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. You're welcome. I'm going to go back to cleaning up my <laughs> Thank you for coming on for a minute. Thank you. Right, happy night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay, Tara, take it away. Okay. okay. So if I need to tell you why you need to go to leadership, it's a free cruise. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to give you pointers on how to get there. Um, anybody can do it. Today is my two-year coming out of the Plexus Closet anniversary. My first post I shared because I had to. Um, I needed to help my friends. I didn't need another business. Already had a business. Didn't have time for that business. Um, next thing I know, it took off crazy. Um, I went to leadership as a silver. I didn't know what it was. I won the receptions. I won the other stuff. I didn't even know what it was. I don't think till like a month in. Um, the only thing that separates me from you are two things, and maybe not two, maybe none. But um, self belief. I don't sell stuff. I change lives. Everybody needs me. I can help everybody. I never feel guilty about sharing things that will change someone's life. I will talk to people. I love cruising the aisles at Sprouts and talking to strangers. Um, and I do the things. I do the little things every day that add up. They're consistent. They're task mastering. That is it. So I'll give you some pointers of what has worked for me and how we do things and my team does things. Love it or leave it, but I'll go fast. Um, I have a big day tomorrow. We go to the hospital for a week and I'm way behind. My suitcase is still laying. Both of them open. Shit everywhere. So here we go. Okay. Um, you're the product. People are watching you. We're a health and happiness company. Are you healthy? Are you happy? If you're complaining and bitching, people aren't going to pay attention to you. You're not legit. Make your own graphics. Nobody wants to be sold to. Think when Rodan and Fields posts, you know, everybody posts the exact same thing. Um, it's disingenuine and it has to scream you. You are your brand. Five minutes to make a bunch of posts and then put them in your phone and save them. You can recycle them later. That's just my advice. If you share a friend base, never share a post. It's the same because it's insulting to your friends and you make it about you, not about helping them. Um, and people will scroll on by. People want to see you. So if you have pictures, you will do better. Nobody wants to put their picture out there. If you don't want to put your picture out there, you don't want it bad enough. Uh, my friends don't want to see some strangers unless I'm private messaging them and it applies. Like if someone has cystic acne and I'm sending, oh, well, here you go. Here's a post on cystic acne, but they don't want to see it in my feed. They want to see me. Okay. So, um, first thing you need to do, if you want to gain points, you need to go after your current customers. Why? 
because they're already believers, they'll already invest in themselves. They're already doing it. Go after them, suggest more things. You should have a relationship with them. How are you doing? I'm so happy for you, you've achieved X, Y, and Z. Here's the next thing you need. Don't be shy. And additionally, when you first um, sign someone up, you need to know what their needs are. You need to keep track of them, write them down. I put them in a little book. I'm old school. I have a notebook, a spiral binder, that is it. Or not a spiral, like a three ring. And I take notes every time I message them and you got to follow up and make sure they succeed. I don't get a lot of new customers. I retain my customers. Um, I think you'd really be surprised to see how many customers I get them up there. There are not many, but I keep them and I sell them more stuff or share more life changing products. I should say. Okay. So go after your current customers. So I talked about that. They're not quitters or believers. Um, ask them for referrals. Give them a referral if you want. Um, I've offered to do it. Not one single person has ever taken up me up on it. They said, I, I'll gladly help you. I even write the post. I'll say, give me three wins. I'll write it. They copy and paste. Um, it's helped me immensely. Uh, white lines. I spent all day today messaging my current people, former people, and sending them my pictures of Joyum. Okay. They want to see my pictures. They like visual people. And here's a sad thing. People care more about what they look like than their insides. They don't realize that their health also affects their looks, but you know, you don't need to worry about that now. Get them on Joyome. Here's the deal. They're never going to forget to use Joyome. It's a lot more work to sell triplex. You can sell them triplex next. Um, white lines. Um, you need to know the business cycles. Okay. June is always typically a bigger cycle than July. And then August is smaller. So you need to be front loading your goals now. If you're doing the same goals for every month, you're going to miss out. And not only that, it's only the first 1,200 people who go. So you hit your goals and you hit it at the end of the month and the boat's already full. What are you going to do? So you need to plan ahead and know business cycles and go all in now. If you're throwing money into contests, you throw them into contests this month. Why? Because first of all, you're going to gain more people in the front. And then you each month, you retain them. You need to spend money retaining them and making sure they're doing it right. You get more consecutive points off them. So you get more bang for your buck. And chances are they'll tell their friends. And if they're doing joy them, you get their before pictures and you hold them and you get their consecutive pictures and you do the little graphics side by side and you keep sending them to them. They don't always, we're all critical of ourselves. They will not know how well they're doing unless they see the results. They'll know they're improving. So put it in their face. They will stay and stay on the products. And I have one who even was willing to share it because she couldn't believe it. So hopefully we'll have new people from that. I'm sorry, I took all these last minute notes. Um, business cycles, we talked about that. Okay, money in the contest, you throw it in now. So many people like all poured in at the last month. It's just such a waste of money and it's just desperate. And you'll know where you stand by pouring it into your business in the beginning. If you're not doing joy home, you have to. Um, don't tell me you don't have money. If you don't have money, you will have money when you do join them. What you're going to do, you need to post your own pictures. No one else cares. They need to be lined up, same light, and what have you. And I suggest taking two sets of photos, one with makeup, one without. So you have different photos to post. If you're always posting the same photos, people will think it's old. So that is something you can do. Also, you will have more customers paying for your joy on one week into the product. Your products will be free. And if you don't like it and you didn't do well, you can send them back and get your money back. So you have no risk. Um, you have to be willing to spend money to make money. Um, out of sight, out of mind. Um, so many people just like other people's posts and we're all in these groups. Like I have a private joy on group going on. If you're just liking posts, mm -hmm. your people who have you added to the group aren't getting alerted about it at all. Okay. So taking the time to comment will alert every single person in your group that they need to look at this that you're passionate and you're involved. Out of sight, out of mind, monkey see, monkey do. People, you're not gonna get the business. Um, know your PV cutoffs in your brackets. I've seen people miss them and PV is huge, okay? So you need to know where you're at in your brackets. If you have to buy something, buy something. Um, and that's all I got for you right now. Awesome. Sarah, Sarah I have a quick question from you. Yeah. For you. Uh, your first leaders retreat, can you share with anyone what, what was so impactful about it and why, why it was so important that you went, what, which went one of the, the top things you got out of it? Um, well, first of all, I was really nervous about going because I only met Kim. I didn't know anybody else. I hate crowds. I don't like loud things. Um, I went and I had the best time. I made great new friends that were quality people who had the same values that I did. So that was another perk besides changing lives, but it showed me what integrity and heart the company had, which just furthered my belief 
in what I'm doing and made me more motivated to, you know, just keep plugging along. Awesome. Because awesome. for me, it was never about the money. I didn't need the money. Um, now I need the money. So my why has switched. I just wanted to help people. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. I know, I know you, I don't know if you're hopping off, but if you do think we want to appreciate you for hopping on tonight. I know oh, yeah, I will be in a minute. I got to pack for the hospital and unpack from our trip. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tara. You're welcome. Um, Christy Barkley is next. Hello. Hey. Hello. Tara, thanks. Can we, should we just end the call now? Or <laughs> is that it? Bossy pants? We don't need to know anything else to do. I will share um, my similar story um, to Ashley and Tara just to give you guys an idea. I also started sharing only three years ago. Um, probably early May, three years ago, and then earned leaders retreat that year. So it was awesome. I took my husband and he was like, we were just going to get away from the kids. I was still super sick at that point, feeling better, but still super sick. So I wasn't allowed to travel by myself. So he came with me and I just remember walking through the streets of Washington, DC. They had like blocked off all of the streets and, um, paid, for us to be able to go into any of the restaurants and get, they had food set up and they had a band at the end of the street. And it was just, my husband and I was just, walk, he was walking around going, what in the world is this? He's like, how can they afford to pay you guys if they do things this huge? Like, this is insane. He was totally blown away by the event itself. And I was blown away because I just soak in leadership of training of any kind. So that was amazing. The training is amazing. I feel like, um, for those of you who went to convention, but haven't been to leaders retreat convention is all, all about like growing your belief in the company and it's super amazing. But leaders retreat is about, um, them training you to be an amazing leader, which allows you to pour into people more to, um, grow your team more because if your leadership lid is down here, people are not more, they're not going to join your team. And so really just taking it up a notch by pouring into each of us individually that I was just so, so grateful for. I missed a lot of it. Cause like I said, I was still sick. So I sat in the meetings, but then it'd be time to go do all the fun stuff at night. And um, I was in my hotel room still still being you know stuck with the brain stuff but take it back a week to convention and i didn't miss a single thing so there's that which has nothing to do with leaders retreat i will tell you my biggest trick probably my biggest tip to you it's not a trick um two two leaders retreat ago at the the day after convention, I had a seizure that they thought was a stroke and I was in the hospital in Vegas for a while. And then I was in bed for a long time and I really didn't work my business at all. I didn't talk to people. I didn't do anything. I was in bed a lot. So all of the points I had for leaders retreat, I didn't pay any attention to it. I just was not even going to try. I, we, my, we decided as a family to take a break and get healthy and then re ramp up. So any points I had earned had come from, Deanna working underneath me and w literally with two days left to go um Erin messaged me and she goes I think you're pretty close look at your points and I looked at my points and I was like oh I only need nine more people and I went downstairs and I had two days and I went downstairs and I told my husband I think I'm like I only need nine more people to join or order and I will get to go to leaders retreat so what do you think and he said okay try it well, long story short, I totally did my numbers wrong. And every time I put my, wrote my numbers down, I realized I needed more. Had I known, I wouldn't have tried, but I actually needed 29 more, not nine, 29 more people in two days. And I did it. Here is how I did it. First of all, I had always kept really, really good track. I use no cards for my tracking system every single time I message somebody. So I wasn't willy nilly about who can I message. I kept track of every person over the last, that year that I had ever talked to about Plexus. And I messaged every single one of them, either a voice message. First, I started with a voice message, just telling them that I had the chance to um, earn a really great retreat, a leader's retreat. And I hadn't worked for it because I had been so sick, 
but if they had were willing to help me get there, it would just mean the world to me. And so in two days, I voice messaged them and quite a few people ordered. And then I video made a video and sent it to people, a quick video, just telling them why I wanted to go and how much it would mean to me if they would literally just invest $75 in me. If each person would invest $75 in me and get products that I loved and give them a shot, I could go on this trip. And in 48 hours, I got 29 people to say yes. Now, I will tell you, it's not, I could not have done that willy nilly. If I did not have my system and went back, if I just went to people for the first time, I was like, hey, I know you've never heard of this, but I need you to order $75. That would not have worked. I'd been talking to people, I'd been posting. I had been doing, I always posted, even when I was sick, I just wasn't messaging people. So never stop sharing, even if you're having rough times, always post, always um, be positive on your page. Don't, don't whine and complain. You know, my life sucked. I was in bed for months. People don't need to know that. Um, just keep sharing about the amazing products and I would not wait until the last 48 hours to reach out to everybody and ask them to help you <laughs> earn this trip. Literally, you can start tomorrow and tell them how important this is and tell them only the first 1,200 out of, I mean, the jewels don't really get to go, so it probably leaves another, you know, 700,000 people that could possibly be trying to earn this. So you want to be one of the first 1,200. The $500 is great, but the, you don't learn any leadership from the $500 you could earn by not getting the trip. You want to be on the boat. So start messaging people tonight, tomorrow, tell them why you wanna go and how much it would mean to you if they supported you. So those are my thoughts. Thank you, Christy, that was awesome. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. Those were amazing tips. Yeah, very good. I totally forgot about how crazy it was this last couple of days, Christy, when you earned it. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. People, it was amazing. amazing. And your yeah. video, and remember your video, that's a good tip. People did a lot of good videos during that time. Uh, I remember that. And everybody's doing, you know, heartfelt videos about, you know, hey. Um, Why they wanted it. Love to, to do this. So be vulnerable. Be vulnerable. I think that's a good Be tip. real. Be real. All right. So next up, we've got Wimberly Tribble, who um, was, is a newer ambassador on our team. She is gold. And she earned Leaders Retreat at the, you know, not really knowing what it was either last year, I think. And Wimberly, why don't you tell us the kind of what, when did you start? When did you, and when did you realize what was going on? <laughs> hey, um, I started about a year ago. Actually, I think my very first post was on Cinco de Mayo. So May of last year. And um, yeah, I had no idea about leaders retreat or anything. I'm coming off of convention now. So I'm like on this huge bubble of amazing, like admiration and belief in this company after these events. And my first event was, leaders retreat and um, it might bring me to tears because I'm so emotional right now from this past week, but I can't say enough about these events um, and how important it is to go and how important it is to try to go and, um, and meet the people and do the things that they have you do and see John Maxwell speak and go to incredible Halloween parties with your best friends and, and dance and meet people on the beach and share each other's stories with people you don't even know. And, just the level of the company on so many different levels um, was started for me with Leaders Retreat. And I didn't even know that that was something I needed to be doing. You know, Barry is how I started out with this. She's my best longtime friend. And um, so I kind of came into this business accidentally, didn't want to do it, thought it was snake oil, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, and here I am with like complete love, admiration, belief, and gratefulness beyond, beyond for this company. And, um, so I think that that really all started by going on that first event, to be honest, and that was never my goal. I didn't want to do any of it. I had an accidental business through an incredible story of um, my stomach was, I was super, super sick. I went into the products from a vanity standpoint for weight loss and energy and came out on the other side with wellness and happiness and so many blessings beyond that. But the wellness that came to me for my stomach and my sleep and my so many other health problems that I had that I won't go into because like Christy said, nobody wants to hear about all that except when you're telling your testimony, which is great. But, um, I went into it not really knowing that that's what I was doing. And when I had all this wellness happen for my physical body and I was able to share and had my beliefs based on the company because of what it had done for me, 
not only did I have the weight loss, not only did I have the energy, but I also had the sleep. I also had the healed stomach. I also felt good for the first time in forever. And so I had to share that. And in doing that, because I was so brutally like out there with it, I had a lot of people who believed in it and who needed it. And that in turn is what won leaders for me because it wasn't my intention. But that being said, I can say a tip that I could say because I had seen people that were trying to get the trip. And I do think that at this point is a good thing to be methodical, like what Tara said about front loading. Like I'm going to be going all in the next few months because I want the cruise so bad. So I want to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do in June because the summer months can really slow off. And so I want to make sure that I'm knowing where I am every month, where I don't want to have to make a Christy push of 20 whatever people, which is crazy. Um, in August to try to, you know, be getting what I need to be getting. So that being said, the, the way that Plexus does their events is above and beyond it until you can see the part of that culture. I can't really even explain it. Like, um, the level of the parties and the level of the decorations and the level and the quality of the speakers, the level and the quality of the food, the, the hotel rooms, the venues, all of it. And on top of that, you're meeting all these great people and having just the very, very best time. So like they were saying, convention is all about building the belief in the company, all of that. Also incredible training tools for leadership. But I would say, if I had to say leadership, you've already made this huge push to get there. And there was great inspiring things. There was also tons of fun. You know, we did a big Disney thing and that was incredible with all these women I didn't know, which half of them are now dear friends of mine. Like I would call them dear heartfelt friends that are blessings to me that I would have never known. And, um, and that's just been incredible. So I'm going to push hard for it. And I think everybody should. And, um, I, I don't know how to say enough about the company and my love for this company and my gratitude to Barry, first of all, but to all of my customers, all my friends that have, that have supported me through this journey because it's, it's changed my life. So I hope that that help. And I'm happy to answer any questions. Anybody can message me with any questions. If they want to know any little things I did, I think Tara and Chrissy pretty much covered the tips that they did. So um, I just wanted you to know how great the, how great I felt the experience was. Oh, thank you, Wimberly. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank yeah, I did it. That was, yeah. Am I up? I'm up. I'm up. I'm up with my crazy light. My cat, it keeps knocking over this thing. So I'm too just on a complete high coming off of leaders of uh, convention and everything that's gone on. Unfortunately, my I've had to shut Facebook off of my phone and haven't been able to post anything because it completely kept shutting off. So be ready for me to blast everyone with stuff. But I just wanted to talk about my first leaders retreat, which is four years ago. Um, I qualified also as a silver and um, got to leaders retreat and it was uh, it was Aaron and I and then Natalie Shay Laura and I and. Um, I met them for the first time. Heather Booth was also there, if you, don't, if you know her, and a couple other people. But it was so amazing to me uh, just walking in, having no idea really what was going on to the parties that Plexus did, the trainings they had. Victor Antonio was one of our, was, was one of our um, keynote speakers at that time, and he was incredible. He's now, just, he's now an MC to even, and trained us even more this time, and I'm just so grateful for the opportunities. But I wanted to talk to you a second about Another thing that was so great at Leaders Retreat, and that was meeting sidelines. Um, I made relationships on that first Leaders Retreat with people like Song and Brian, mm -hmm. Pickett, um, other people who, have, who are instrumental in my business now and my life. Um, I think we all know how important sidelines are to you. And if you don't know what a sideline is, it's someone who is not on your direct out, down or up line and does not benefit from you monetarily, but they usually become some of your closest friends. Christy and Tara have that relationship right now. And there's just so many of these amazing relationships you can have. Um, so that was one of the things that I got out of my first leadership was these amazing sidelines and just a huge belief stronger than ever, not only in myself, but in the company, knowing that I was there with a lot of jewels and some of the top leaders in this company. And here I was, you know, just a silver. Uh, but what I got from that first leader trip was the company values and how, how much Tarl and Cal Alec care about us and care about creating a company that is so strong on integrity values. Uh, now after convention, we're learning giving back, uh, philanthropy, uh, creating a legacy, which is what this convention was all about. And I, I literally am so in cloud and I've cried like five times today. Again, I was, <laughs> I've cried so many ugly tears 
on this um, on these last few days, I literally held Aaron at the end, and Wimberly too at the end of session. And if you had seen me, it was disgustingly, I, I was shaking so hard, crying. And just all I could say was thank you for being with me right now. And thank you for introducing me, Aaron, for this, to this opportunity and company we've never known. Um, uh, let me talk a little bit about leaders retreat. Leaders grow teams by truly caring about what, about helping other people reach their goals. Um, that is what, how I ended up becoming a jewel. It wasn't just shooting for points. It was, I was caring about helping others reach their goals and helping others build a team and letting them know they can do it as well. Uh, Wimbley, when she was just talking about, um, not, you know, not wanting to work mm -hmm. the business. I mean, when she says she's not, she didn't want to, she absolutely did not want to work the business and do not do this to me. I'm not doing this. Um, this is snake oil. I mean, for two years it was snake oil because she was not consistent until she was, and she figured out what it was. And I think that just being here with, with her this weekend, um, my two best friends from two different walks of life was just so, so incredibly huge. Um, Helping others reach, I'm sorry, my cat's locked in here and she's crazy and I'm not going to get her out. So just ignore me while I throw pillows at her. Um, so I think that helping others reach their dreams and goals is so huge in establishing yourself as a leader. And that's what this retreat is about. If you don't know, I think Christy may have said it. Um, Aaron and I are qualified jewels on and going to Maui. And so we, we are not able to qualify for leaders retreat this year. And I have to be honest, I was pretty upset because it's one of the biggest things I look forward to. Um, I have loved Leaders Retreat, loved being on the sidelines. I've loved learning from all different levels. I've loved, me loved meeting my teams um, that are just growing and flourishing and being a part of, and this is sometimes from the, all over the country, this is one of the first times and only times I really had that opportunity. But I had to take a step back and I had to think about what this means to empower them to be the very top and to feel that that just everything that is as you, if you qualify for leaders retreat, you are one of the leaders in this company and you can be a, a huge leader with a small team. But if you help people and you start reaching their goals, you start helping them establish to become silver, which if anyone's on here, doesn't know what silver it, it silver is silver is having three personally sponsored ambassadors on your team. Um, it has nothing to do with customers. It has to do with ambassadors on your team to reach silver. I think that if everyone tries really hard to get as many people as they can silver, they are going to grow as leaders. And it's going to grow beyond leaders retreat. Um, oh, hi, Song. I was talking about you just now. Um, developing leaders is how you duplicate and how you grow and how you grow into different levels. Um, it's how you become a jewel later. Um, so... I think this is a great opportunity to rise up senior rubies and below to become the great leaders of our company. Um, there's a section in convention that is for like a jewel section. They have emerald section and sapphire and diamonds. I've still got hair on me and diamonds. They opened up this year as a section for senior rubies, which I thought was so great too. They've given, Plexus is giving coaches now to senior rubies. They just started that when I became, was a senior ruby. And after sitting there for 19 months, um, at Senior Ruby, I got my coach and two months later, I hit Emerald because his belief from a company standpoint in me helped surpass the belief that I didn't have in myself. I had belief in the company, I had belief in the products, but I didn't have the belief in myself to, 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 that I could actually do it. And it was my calls with John Prini for two months to three months straight that made me call while she was in Vegas and say, we're doing this now. And she's like, no, not now. I'm like, oh yeah, now. So I think that um, from a company standpoint, I want all you guys to get there and to have those opportunities to meet some of the trainers, to meet uh, the top people in our company, to meet the company heads, the different directors of different departments, um, to see who our company is and what they stand for. Um, so if, let's see, I have a few more notes here. Um, and if you develop these leaders, you're not going to be alone when you go to leaders retreat. You're going to have some of your team there with you. Um, which I think is hugely important because that's part of the bond. That's part of everything. Stop it. Quiet. That is part of the bond. That is part of everything is having those people and having your sidelines and knowing that Aaron and I will not be there this year. I highly encourage you to reach out to other people and other groups and other sidelines and help figure out what we're going to do. Aaron and I are in a lot of different groups and some in different jewel groups 
uh, we have a, a, a giant jewel, jewel uh, jewels of excellence group that as soon as you become a jewel, you get to be a part of it. It's so great because it's all the jewels and they put in there all the different things they're doing for their teams and inspiring and how they're doing it. So we're going to be flooding youth guys with some different ideas that they have, or maybe giving some to Christy, some to Tara, some to Wimberly, you know, some to different people. So you guys can, can strategize together and help figure this out because it is everything. And this company is not going anywhere. It's just growing bigger and better. And now we have philanthropy. We are giving back. We are, John Maxwell said something when he spoke this weekend that I want you guys to know. He said that he wanted to take the first few minutes of his short time with us to talk about this. And he said, he's spoken to a lot of successful company. And Plexus is a successful, successful company. You're about, we're about to be a billion dollar company. But now that we're giving back, it makes us significant because we're, we're giving back to others. And I just thought, oh, I just left so proud of my company. So, so excited to have had some of the conversations I had with some different team members and different people this weekend that I didn't know so well. And um, that's what you can have at Leaders Retreat. So I just tell you right now, dream big, go for it. Um, the t there's been so many amazing tips given tonight. Aaron's got a few of them. You know, if you, if you don't know Aaron and I too well, my uh, my gifts are inspiring and motivating and telling you guys how just what you are. It's just, it's just what I love. Um, and Erin is going to give you some of her top tips, but my top tip is to help your team reach their dreams and reach their goals. Um, you can get this by adding team members, adding new customers, taking those customers and flipping them to team members the following month, helping get their network. But in order to truly grow, you have your network will only expand by the more people that you share this opportunity with. So that's really all I've got. Um, and uh, at some point I'll try to figure out how to reload my Facebook page. So I've got so much. <laughs> so look for that. Thank you, Erin, go ahead. Okay, um, I just have a real quick thing I want to share. Um, let's see, share screen. Let's see if you can see this. Can y'all see my PowerPoint purple slide? Cool. Yes or no? How do I say yes? Yes, 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 yes. We can see it. Good. Whoever was that one said yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So, um, okay. I'm going to make it bigger. Oh, well. Um, I don't know why it's not doing that. Okay, so anyway, the first thing, I'm gonna give you a little assignment, a little homework assignment. Uh, the first thing I want you guys to do is decide, okay? And if that sounds like, oh, of course, okay, yeah, duh. But no, I mean like really, really decide um, that you are doing this. This is happening. Uh, I want you to commit. That's incredibly, incredibly important. Make a visual reminder that I want you to print out a picture of the Bahamas, um, you know, a picture of something that's going to be inspiring to you for this particular goal. And every time, you know, when you put on the bathroom mirror, okay, when you tape it up there and every single time you brush your teeth, you're going to look at that and you're going to spend a couple of minutes just visualizing that you were on that boat. You were having a blast. Add the details. You're having your favorite cocktail or you're having, you're laying in the sun or you're sitting there chatting with your friends. You've got the sun on your face your beach hat, um, your cute bathing suit, you're eating the amazing food, uh, walking down the beach, those kinds of things. The more details, the better. I know this may sound a little bit corny to some people who've never done this, but I'm going to tell you right now it works. When I uh, wanted to hit Emerald, um, if whoever has their unmute, uh, not muted, we all mute. Um, but when I was uh, looking to hit Emerald and I knew it was going to be a really big push because I was at like, 800 points, 800, 900 points, and I had two months to hit it to get to go to Hawaii. So I made a visual. I printed out a, an emerald, a jewel, a, a picture of Maui, a picture of Alexis, and I put one of my favorite uh, Les Brown quotes on it, and I taped it to my bathroom mirror, and I, I'm telling you, that was really key to my success because I couldn't escape that, that that was going, that was my goal. And I knew I had to do whatever was necessary to make that happen. All right. So you're going to practice this exercise daily. Um, and then the next thing I want you to do is get an accountability partner or a small group of three to four people. So I want you to find some sideline 
partners, some sideline sisters, um, partners that you maybe um, have seen post or, or, you know, you think you got, you got, might have a similar personality. Maybe you've met them. Maybe you haven't. If you need someone, let Barry or I know or your upline and we're going to pair you up with who we think would be really great for you. Um, but this is super important to get an accountability partner, okay? And not your upline and not your downline. I want this to be somebody that is a sideline partner, like Barry was talking about those incredible sideline partnerships that we develop through Plexus. They have been critical to my success. Um, there was one in particular when I was going Emerald that if it weren't for some things that she, some advice she gave, some things she said, and I, I, I would not have hit Emerald. Um, so I, it's super, super important to have this accountability partner. So that's your other assignment to find uh, that person. Let me know if you guys need help with that. Uh, you're going to report into your accountability partner or partners weekly, bi-weekly, whatever you guys decide. Y'all are going to get a little uh, Facebook chat group together. You're going to decide what's our day. Is it going to be Mondays at you know, uh, is it going to be Sunday night? We're going to check in with each other. You can either Zoom call together or just chat in your Facebook or do Marco Polo. If y'all don't have Marco Polo app, get it. Get Marco Polo app and do little short little Marco Polo videos to each other. And you can create just like in Facebook Messenger, you can create a little Marco Polo group. Highly, highly recommend that you guys do that with your accountability partner. And it's so fun. And you can send little encouraging uh, messages to each other. You're going to cheer each other on. You're going to celebrate each other. You're going to, you're going to let them know when you get a new customer, you're going to, you know, Hey, I've got this person on the fence. What do you think? What do you think about what I said on this? You're just really going to help each other and cheer each other on. Um, and really, really celebrate, celebrate each other. So decide on those days for that, for who your accountability partners and how you're going to check in and talk about your IPA schedule. So the next thing we're going to do is create your IPA schedule. Um, I really believe that having a consistent IPA income producing activity schedule for the week is you need to, if you value this, this opportunity, then you need to value your time and what you need to invest in, in this to make it happen. It's going to take your consistent action, your consistent time. So decide when those days are, those hours or minutes, if you have 15 minutes a day, if you have 30 minutes a day, if you have one hour and it's maybe it's three days a week, maybe it's five days a week, you decide what that works for you. What does it look like for you? And I want you to write it up and you're going to share this to your, with your accountability partner so they can hold you accountable. And you can say, yes, I stuck to my iPay schedule this week. Consistency is the key guys. It's imperative. Um, now I want you to create your list of names and this is your next assignment. Reach out. If you haven't done this already, you're going to be reaching out and following up. This is part of your IPA. This is what you do during your IPA. We don't worry about, uh, do, am I creating enough events or groups or this or that? We're going to be doing the basics here. We are simply going to be reaching out and following up with people. So there is a 60, a list of 64 template sheets. Mm -hmm. Uh, corporate has created for us. I have it in the rockandteam.com training website that you can download. You can also go to your back office and I highly recommend doing this and searching it there under the tools section. Um, and you're going to reach out, follow up during your IPA. You're going to reach out to potentials on your team and your team, not just potentials and customers, but people on your team already that maybe they joined up a year ago and they fell off. Maybe they joined two years ago. You guys, we have like, it's like having a whole new company. We have all new products now. So there's no reason why you shouldn't treat every single person's ever been a customer or an ambassador as a potential now, because they don't know about all that we have to offer now. So you're going to be spending during your IPA. You're going to be reaching out to these people. You're going to be sharing what we have. You're going to use phrases like, if I would you, this is such a great phrase. You can change it up to fit whatever situation that you may have. Uh, like examples could be, if I could show you how to get your products paid for, would you be interested? This is a great message to send to a newbie that you just signed up. You're not saying to them, hey guys, who has that um, music on? <laughs> I can't mute you right now because I'm a, a screen share. Um, so I want you to, Think about people that are newbies that and you don't want to say to someone, hey, do you want to work the business? But this is where that duplication of power of three is going to be super important, getting people silver. And the first step to getting someone silver is reaching out to them and saying, 
if I could show you how to get your products paid for, would you be interested? Okay, and then they say yes, you're gonna take them through their back office and you're gonna go find, I want you to find this document in the back office called Rank Up Roadmap. And it's under the tools section of your dashboard. Click on tools and then click on Rank Up Roadmap. And there is an amazing layout for going silver that the corporate team, and they worked with ambassadors and diamonds and jewels to create it. So you, there's things you can download. There's a list, a little checklist that they can download and print off. Um, there's training, there's videos. So you're going to go through that with them on what it means to be silver and then they can download some documents, watch some videos, but that's what you'll send them. So you don't have to recreate their will. You are not the expert. Your corporate's done it for you. It is in our back office under tools. And then, um, it'll say rank up roadmap and they'll say roadmap to silver. Okay. So we're going to find that and send that to them next. Um, if it's a potential, if I sent you a sample, would you give me your honest opinion? Great thing to send to people if, as like a cold message, so to speak. Another one, if I sent you some scoop on our latest product, would you give me your honest opinion? So this is if you don't really want to send out a sample, but you want to reach out and have an excuse to reach out. If I sent you some scoop on our latest product, would you give me your honest opinion? And then if they say, sure, I'm open to looking at it, that's when you're going to send them information. Again, there's shareables in our back office. You don't have to recreate the will. Go to um, your back office and click on shareables, or it's called sharing, and then click on the products. And then there's little uh, digital brochures, there's digital, there's videos, there's all kinds of amazing things you can send to people. Um, you like, you are not, the only let, let Plexus, let the team that the always tools, let the tools be the expert, not you. Because here's what, what, if you try to be the expert and you try to give them all the information, they look at that and go, well, I could never do that. That's too hard. I would never do this business because she's having to come up with all this stuff and she knows all these details and blah, blah, blah. No, you don't need to know anything, guys. You just send them a videos that we have in the back office. You can send them um, the brochures, the digital uh, brochures and flyers and things with the, the list of information and tell and share passionately why you love it. And that's all they want to know. They want to know, do you like it? What has it done for you? And how much does it cost? And you're going to tell them it's incredibly affordable and you can break it down for them how much it costs per day. That's what I do. I don't ever give them the full price and I never send my website to anyone until I know they're ready to buy. And I usually get them on the phone and I do it for them so that there's no mishaps, okay, when they're actually ready to close. All right, so that's all I've got for you guys. And um, I wanted to keep it simple. These just simple steps of one, get your visual for your bathroom mirror. Two, get your accountability partner or partners. Um, create your IPA schedule and create your list of names and do your IPA and reach out and follow up and report to your accountability partner and you guys cheer each other on. Because we, you can do this. I promise you, you can do this. Um, we're here to help you. I mean, there's nothing. Um, that I love better than, um, stop share, here we go, than helping you guys reach your dreams and your goal. So, um, if anyone has any questions, I'll open up to that. I'm going to stop the recording and open up to any kind of questions you guys have.